Peace. Yo, what's good, bro? What you on? I was calling you. I just need to like process a little bit. I got a half hour. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yo, like I gave myself three years. Three years to just try this crazy idea that I had. Sleepless nights trying to figure out how I'm gonna get some actual items to sell, shoe accounts, nutrition accounts. My responsibility as a partner, as a father, I'm just out here shooting my shot, taking my chance and just believing that somehow, some way, I'll, I'll figure this out and make this work. That's day one. And here I am now coming up to year three. And tomorrow's gonna be the last day inside the shop. Yeah. So I'm definitely. Yeah. It's like a, uh, it's like a surreal moment, bro. My store is in a shipping container in Boxville, and all of the other businesses there are like black owned, women owned, minority owned. I didn't open this up to be like the black owned running store. Like, no, I just wanted a place where everybody who I knew ran can come and hang out with me and get the things that they needed in a neighborhood to give our people that equal access to this sport. Last Lap Corner Store, my like full on vision of it is to be like a community hub. And I need more square footage to make that happen. And so um, we're here closing it down, closing down this chapter, closing down this location. Yo, everybody, let me get your attention. The store is open, got some treats for y'all. Please help me get rid of all of this. I don't want to put it into a, a storage unit. Finally, just, I really appreciate y'all for coming out today and kind of like sharing this moment with me. Y'all showing up is like extremely emotional. Every time that y'all do really means the world to me. And I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna stop and just say thank you very much. And I, I, I can't wait to show y'all what I have in store next. This isn't like, yo, I've been killing it for two and a half years. I made like buku cash, like, oh no. Oh no, this is, uh, this is risky. At the tone, please record your message. Hi, my name is Ian Gonzalez. Uh, I was calling about your property that you have. Super interested in seeing the space, potentially renting it out to uh, move my running specialty store into. Hey, I'm trying to um, rent a new storage unit with you all. I was maybe looking at maybe the five by 10. I've been trying to be an entrepreneur since I was 16 years old and I felt like, like this was it. And so this was my last shot at this lifestyle that I wanted to create for myself. My whole reason for being an entrepreneur is so I can also have the ability to spend more time with my family. Like I grew up, my mom was a single parent. As a single parent, you have to make a choice. It's either time with your child or money for your child. It's very hard to have both. You know, I, Julius, I had him at 16, 17 years old. I was raising him on my own having to make those same choices. Like, I need to go to work. I can't be here and spend time with you. I wanted the opportunity to be able to be the dad that I want to be when I want to be. Ah! The stakes are higher. I think that is, is scary. Mm -hmm. I think it's scary. I think it's a lot of work. I think it's scary. Um, and I think it has, it's, it's, I mean, it's gonna be a challenge. So this is the African bookstore on the right. 
I'm a little nervous on the inside, the size of the space. You don't think it's big enough? But there are there are things you like about it. What do you yeah. like about it? It has a lot of character with this wood and this like stained glass up there. Like, yeah, I, I have the same fears. Like, I do feel like to a certain level, I'm starting over. So this okay. is the location is that oh, I was like, yo, like, I oh. want to be here. This would be huge. Yeah, this is at least like 400, 500 <laughs> more square feet than the spot over there. So that makes me nervous. Yeah. How big of a risk do I want to? I, I think that's what it is. What would be your stopping point for me if, if this wasn't like, like if this wasn't going to be successful, what would be your stopping point? And it was the same as, I mean, I think the expectation is the same as before. Like, I think I would need to see it work. Back in December, you know, when I had no money, nothing was happening in December, it was not percolating at all. I would have just been like, I can't do this no more. I'm done. Knowing that I had more options on the table, that's when I would have felt like I was a failure. When you get really dark when you've been sitting in the store two months and nobody has come in. Like, that's scary. Like sometimes you get a little entitled. You know, you find somebody to blame. There's been multiple times where I've just been like, why am I doing this? I was like at rock bottom. I would show up to these runs and I would still like go out and cheer and people would cheer back for me and they had no idea how much that helped me. Like how much that helped me get through those tough times and, and nah, see. <laughs> um, the community has given me so much. That's why I'm so beholden to it. Like, they have no idea. This is a hill that I would die on to pay them back for what they've done for me. Ian has been saying thank you a lot, but really, we have to thank him for this sure. wonderful physical manifestation. It's so many memories at this space in the last three years, and they were made possible by his dream. Thank you. Thank you. Please go run. Please go. Please go. This is not the last time. We will be opening back up, all right? racing the adrenaline is gone the excitement of starting this coming up to the finish line is worn off coming up on mile 13 like i could see i could see the halfway point i'm getting tired i got a whole nother half see if the streak's still going i can slow down that's what i'm doing right now taking a minute dropping down to a nine minute getting my breathing together and i can pick it right back up but it's the cheer section. It's the community members on the sideline that is going to get me to the finish line. Thank you. This is, this is the first time I'm pausing in like two and a half years. Cause this was just going and going and figuring it out and putting this piece together, putting that piece together. Next thing I know, 
I'm in articles, I'm on TV, I'm telling people want me to come and talk about business to students and like we just out here, bro. <laughs> we just trying stuff and it's working. It really is. I feel like the things that I've done here works. That's what I'm most proud of. I'm grateful that I got the opportunity. And I'm grateful that I'll continue to get the opportunity. It's like this, it just keeps, it keeps coming together. When I think it's like over and it's done and I can't figure it out, it just, it's like getting a knot loose, man. It's like, it just keeps happening. That's why I know I'm gonna figure chapter two out. I can't wait for the summer shit. Just that last lap. Stay ahead of that game. This chain. This one here got a whole lot of pain. Pulls up in this jungle. Uh, now I collect fangs. No more collect balls. This race I did abroad. This my last lap. And I can't get it back. This your last lap. And you can't get it back. This your last lap. And you can't get it back. This your last lap. And you can't get it back. Maybe I can have some more. Chinchilla for the winter cold.